Here is um, Trump spokeswoman Katrina Pearson reacting to Trump's reaction about Brexit. Here she is. Look at the power of Benghazi. Start with the um, with the criticism of how Donald Trump spent the days uh, while the rest of us have been watching the, the big board sagging after the Brexit vote. Donald Trump was doing business in Scotland, opening a golf course, and when asked about the impact of Brexit, which he said was a good thing, affecting so many people in America, you know, losing their their 401ks before their very eyes, his response was instead about. It would be good for his business, that people would come to Turnberry because the pound was sagging, even though people in England would be suffering under a sagging pound. And this is how uh, Secretary Clinton decided to use it in a campaign ad. Have a listen. Every president is tested by world events, but Donald Trump thinks about how his golf resort can profit from them. When the pound goes down, more people are coming to Turnberry. So this is, um, th this is a tough thing to navigate, suggesting that, that Brexit and the fallout was actually good for business. How do you accommodate for this? Well, it's not really a tough thing to navigate, Ashley, and perhaps Mr. Trump could have gone out and blamed Brexit on a video that never really existed, and maybe the media would have been okay with that response. Mr. Trump I'm answered sorry, like a businessman, and he was what talking about Scotland. Katrina, what did that mean, well, when, blame when, it on when, a video that did the exist? When the attack on the consulate of Benghazi occurred, Hillary Clinton went out and lied to the American public and blamed it on a video. That is something that was very serious okay. because we that lost the video US that did ambassador. exist, though. That was a film that did exist. But it wasn't, but it wasn't the cause. It wasn't the cause. It wasn't the cause. And it I mean, there you have it. I mean, this is just, it is, it's stunning. I'm surprised she didn't say, well, at least... He didn't, uh, at least Brexit didn't say that it was part um, Native American. Like, I mean, how much, what is it, it, it is, it's fascinating to me. And here's the thing, is that all the feedback that they got, all the feedback that Pearson and Trump got from that appearance, I can assure you, was positive. Like, you made that right. You got the Benghazi in there. And, uh, and so, I mean, I, I'm both uh, just sort of disgusted <laughs> and amazed and also very appreciative that um, these people are so deluded. It really is. It's, it's, Mitt it's Romney was panting. 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 Like, like Kathy, 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 Terrace of the Rose Garden. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Tell everybody the truth. There, there, there was no video. Oh, my God. I'm about to have a human orgasm. <laughs> President Obama just Tara's a cat. And then, and then she was like, he, he, in fact, did say it. He went, no. <laughs> no. That's right. Ah. That's right. That's what it was. That's right. The, the controversy four years ago was that he didn't say it was an act of terror or, or he only said it 36 hours later, not uh, th 35 minutes later. Right, Candy? Right? Isn't this how I'm going to win the election? They're insane. And Obama said, he goes, I did say it in the Rose Garden. And then, and then, and then Candy goes, well, he did in fact say, and then Rodney's face, it was almost like a kid that was getting driven to ice cream and then like misbehaved. And the parents at the last minute were like, you know what? You're actually not getting ice cream. That's right. No. <laughs> That's right. ah, we're, going, we're going to get ice cream. You, Mitt, however, uh, you didn't clean up your room. So only your brothers will be getting ice cream. Candy. But I, I but, but the, the, the Rose Garden doesn't count. It's the, but you've got to say it in the, the West Wing. But he's an adopted Negro brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unfair. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.